Welcome to Global Defense News and Analysis. Russia has officially secured its export contracts for, uh, for the Su-57E, the export-oriented version of its advanced fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. This major announcement came from Alexander Mikiev, Director General of Rosoboron Export, during the high-profile Air Show China event in Zhuhai, located in Guangdong Province. Mikiev emphasized that launching such cutting-edge military technology into the global market is a significant move for Russia's defense sector and international military technical partnerships. The economic implications are substantial. Our presence in global markets is crucial, Mikiev noted. Our partners seek Russian armaments that are reliable and well-tested. This statement underscores Russia's continuous push to promote its military technology and carve out a prominent space in the competitive global arms industry. The Su-57E, which was designed by Sukhoi and produced by the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, at the Komsomolsk on Amur Aviation Plant, is a state-of-the-art multi-role stealth fighter. It is capable of targeting various airborne threats, whether in long-range or close combat scenarios, and can strike ground and naval targets while evading sophisticated air defense systems. The original Su-57 prototype first took to the skies on January 29, 2010, and Russia delivered the first operational model to its military in late 2020. Key features of the Su-57E have been designed to appeal to a diverse range of international buyers. The aircraft boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 34,000 kilograms and, uh, with in-flight refueling, can cover an impressive range of 7,800 kilometers. Powered by dual engines, each capable of producing 14,500 kilograms of thrust, the fighter can reach speeds of up to 1,350 kilometers per hour at low altitude. These technical specifications contribute to the aircraft's super maneuverability, which makes it highly adaptable for a wide range of missions, from securing air superiority to executing precision strikes on ground targets. Known by its NATO reporting name Felon, the Su-57 is a strategic component in Russia's plan to bolster its presence in the global defense market. The export version, the Su-57E, represents an effort by Moscow to strengthen relationships with countries seeking to modernize their military capabilities and gain access to top-tier combat technology. By showcasing the Su-57E at premier international events such as Air Show China, Russia aims to draw interest and secure contracts that will enhance its portfolio of defense exports, bringing not only financial benefits, but also forging new strategic partnerships. The introduction of the Su-57E comes at a time when global defense spending is on the rise, with many nations seeking to upgrade their air forces with next-generation fighters. The appeal of the Su-57E lies in its versatility and proven reliability, traits that are highly valued in modern combat environments. Its ability to engage multiple types of targets and operate in contested airspace positions, it has a strong competitor in the international market which is currently dominated by U.S. and European manufacturers. The Su-57's comprehensive capabilities, combined with the geopolitical weight of Russian arms exports, provide an opportunity for Moscow to expand its influence and assert itself more prominently as a provider of advanced military solutions. Countries interested in acquiring the Su-57E are likely drawn by both its advanced features and the potential for technology transfers and collaborations that accompany such deals. For Russia, these export contracts not only promise significant financial returns, but also serve as a testament to the competitiveness of its aerospace industry on the global stage. By highlighting the Su-57E at major events like Air Show China, Russia signals its commitment to remaining a key player in the defense market, showcasing its innovation and technological prowess. The export of such high-performance military equipment is a strategic move designed to capture attention and establish lasting partnerships. Thank you for listening to Global Defense. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share with others. We appreciate your support.